All right, guys, so we're going to start working on a white truck finally. We've been talking about it. We got this pig back together, got it weighed. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm just going to start. I'm um, still waiting on some miscellaneous parts in there. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to start off by taking off, like, kind of the gingerbread, if you will. Um, all the little dumb shit. We'll take the intake uh, horn off. Not, yeah, the intake horn, the engine cover. I'm going to remove the batteries and put them on a trickle charger just for now. Um... We'll start pulling that kind of stuff. Maybe we'll drain the coolant, stuff like that. We'll see how far we get. Uh, we got probably another hour of light. So we'll get started. And we're just going to take off a lot of the easy stuff and figure out where we're going to go from there. I'm thinking we'll do the stuff inside, the like on top of the head, like the valve springs, the push rods, the injectors, since I already have that and I don't need to order anything. I think we'll start there and work our way out and go from there so uh let's get to it See all this crud on here, all this oil and gunk. That's that's from having this crankcase breather going back in your tub. Center off, blocking it off, just putting a filter on here. I know on a uh, 2010 to a 2012 fourth gen, it won't happen. The earlier six sevens or a check engine light won't happen, and I believe that's the same for the earlier six sevens. Now on the newer trucks i heard that it will throw a code but anyway that's what you don't want right there that's the, the turbo seems it's been fine so all right moving on So I pulled off the fender liner to get access to these bolts for the battery tray. And look at all this shit jammed in here. God damn. What the fuck is that from? Wow. Hey. Look at that. Oh. All kind of shit. God damn, buying a used vehicle, never know what you're gonna get. Mm, everywhere. All right, back to it. All kinds of room for activities now. There's our boost tube, whoa. All kinds of shit in there too. See all that's going in your intercooler and your intake. Mix them with the EGR. Man, bad shit. Oh well, we ain't gonna have to worry about that.
All right, so we got the intake manifold out. Uh, another thing that you saw with the CCV, the, the crankcase vent does to your turbo. Now see what your EGR does to your intake. I have no idea, the truck has about 150,000 miles on it. I have no idea how long it's been deleted, but definitely ran with the emissions for a while. As you can see, there's, um, let me get my light. Got some buildup all in here. That's all caked up. That's from the emissions. Apparently emission systems have gotten a lot better, but yeah, this can eventually block everything all up. But we're gonna get rid of it. This also has still has the throttle valve, which a lot of people do delete, but our intake uh, will take care of all those provisions. Though we do need this sensor. I believe it's a MAF sensor. And there's also two sensors on the cold air intake that we'll be taking off to reuse on our, our project. So, let's keep going. I'm saying with the EGR and all that, here's your grid heater. It's uh, thoroughly caked. As you can see, I had a little trouble taking the uh, valve cover off. You, this gasket was coming with it. Well, you don't want to, you don't want that to happen because this gasket also contains the wiring for your injectors. And I don't know what they cost, but I'm pretty sure they ain't cheap. So I kind of pried and fiddled with it till it came off. It still looks like it's pretty good shape. Um, it doesn't look like anything out of the ordinary inside there. Uh, it's got factory push rods, all that shit. So this cover's liable to never have been off before, which is a good thing. So, well, that wraps it up for tonight in the garage. Um, I'm actually gonna put that valve cover, just set it back on for the night um, till we get some more stuff off and we'll figure out where we're gonna go. We'll probably pull the uh, fuel rail and all the injector lines out and uh, put them in a safe place so they don't get dirty. Probably pull the intake uh, shelf the uh, shit well we'll probably we'll probably pull our grid heater that whole assembly as well um, and we'll go from there while everything's off I'm thinking I'm gonna do the exhaust manifold and all that too because now we just have so much more room to work it's gonna be a lot easier than it was on my 12 when I had everything together and I pulled the manifold so that should be nice but Anyway, we've started on our project truck on the 2010 white truck that's going to be our race truck, and I'll see you uh, in the garage soon.